This ain't a scene, it's a goddamn card game. Hey, Bakora, something's been bugging me. How in the heck did you manage to win six locator cards in a single duel? I don't know. How come you're always making that stupid nyeh sound? Nyeh? What stupid nyeh sound? The one you just made. Nyeh? What are you talking about, nyeh? You're doing it right now. I don't get it. What noise, nyeh? The one that's coming out of your mouth at this very moment. But I can't hear anything, nyeh. Come on, nyeh. I still don't hear anything. Using this cheap lottery machine, we shall now choose the participants in the first round of the semi-finals. Get your hand off my butt. Sorry, it does that. And now, with Hair Kyber's permission, I shall activate the machine! Just do it already, you offensive stereotype. Heil Kaiba! Yes, yes, heil me. And it looks like the winners are Bakora and Yugi. The semi-finals will take place on top of my Kaiba Corp doomship at an altitude of 4,000 feet. The wind currents will make it extremely dangerous, and the slightest this bit of turbulence could send us all spiraling to our untimely deaths. Any questions? Are we in outer space? Sure, why not? Hooray! I'm an astronaut! Tell me something, Yugi. Have you ever dueled with the devil in the pale moonlight? Look, why don't you just cut the crap and tell us who you really are, Bakora? Or should I call you the spirit of the Millennium Ring, who has no official name as of yet? Actually, we're both called Bakora. What? But that's just confusing. Not to mention highly unlikely. Oh, just wait until season five when there's three of me running around. Even the fans have trouble keeping up with that one. Oh no! It's the other Bakora! The one we don't like! You're gonna have to be way more specific, Taya. Hey, no fair! I threw the Millennium Ring into the woods in Season 1. How in the name of continuity did you get it back? Oh, there'll be plenty of time for explanations later. In the meantime, I shall vanquish the Pharaoh once and for all and take his Egyptian god card for myself. Tell it to Anubis, you walking deus ex machina. Those fools still believe me to be the innocent Malik Blishtar. I must go out of my way to maintain my disguise. Hey, everybody, I am extremely indifferent. Did you just say something? Ignore me! Shouldn't we be wearing our spacesuits? It's only a matter of time before Yugi plays his god card. Until that time, I'll just stand here and pretend I don't have a boner. I summon Dark Necrothea to the field. Uh, it's an alien, just like the ones that abducted me when I was a child. That explains so much, and yet so little. I activate Dark Sanctuary. Now the duel will take place in a twisted and horror-filled environment where only the bravest souls dare to venture. An anime convention? but no cigar. Here, the spirits of the damned roam freely, and every second is like living in a wide-awake nightmare. Still sounds like an anime convention. Look, we're in hell, okay? Did the giant bloody eyeballs not tip you off? I thought they were cosplayers. Really good cosplayers. No such thing, I'm afraid. Even in hell, everybody stares at the hotness that is Duke Devlin. Quiet, you fool! Do you want the aliens to probe your anus? Maybe. With Dark Sanctuary in play, I can summon all manner of supernatural beings to the field. Oh, yeah, sh just got real luck in this bitch. <laughs> it looks like Yugi doesn't stand a ghost of a chance. Get it? Huh? Ghost? Ignore me! And now I activate my Ouija board magic card. With this in play, I can communicate with the dead. What are you gonna do? Ask the Naruto abridged fanbase to come kick my butt? They had a fanbase? Touché! The Ouija board is about to spell out a word so evil, so foul, that they had to censor it twice to get it past standards and practices. Now it just says final. What did it say before? Disney. Bakura just said the forbidden word. Should we cancel the show? No. Our master gave us specific instructions not to cancel it until the end of season two. Don't worry about Bakura. He'll get what's coming to him. Down, Down with, with Disney. Disney! All hail, hail for kids! kids. <laughs> just one more letter will seal your doom, and then your Egyptian god card will be all- Egyptian what now? Oh, right. I completely forgot I had that. <laughs> For Slifer, the executive producer. Holy honor, sandwich.
witch. What's wrong, Bakora? Is my god card really that intimidating? No, I'm just shocked that we're actually using music from the Yu-Gi-Oh! soundtrack for once. Don't worry, Bakora. I have a plan to save you from certain defeat. Maddox, your last plan involved me severely injuring myself and lying on a cold hospital bed for a dozen episodes while you hogged all the card games for yourself. Yes, but this plan shall be different. How so? Uh, this time you'll be hospitalized for an entire season. You know it's a good thing you're pretty. Otherwise, I'd have to suffocate you. Ignore me! Sometimes I wish I could. Hey, it's that jerk, Marik Ishtar. What an asshole. Hey, you don't know him. Perhaps he's just misunderstood. Yeah, if by misunderstood you mean an asshole, stop being so judgmental. He could be a nice guy. No, I'm definitely an asshole. Not helping, Odeon. Seto, that guy's going to interrupt the duel. That's fine, just so long as nobody looks at my crotch. You might want to reconsider calling your attack. Bakura is under my control. Now watch as I release his host. Somebody help. My Britishness is fading. I can barely feel my stiff upper lip. Go ahead and attack your friend, if you dare. What, him? He's not my friend. I barely know the guy. Oh, shoot. Seriously? Seriously? I don't think we've exchanged a single line of dialogue. Hell, I don't even know his first name. It's Rio. Yeah, could you keep it down, Makora? I'm trying to talk to Marek over here. Okay, but still... You know, if you attack, he might get seriously hurt. Yes, but the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the British. Or something along those lines. Hey, Bakora, any last words before Slifer toasts your ass? I want my mummy. That'll work. Marek, if I survive this, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, hey, this is kind of awkward, but uh, do you mind if I borrow your Millennium Ring? I mean, it's not like you'll be around to use it in the foreseeable future. Over my dead... <laughs> I choose to take that as a no. I can't believe Marek made me do this. Yeah, he didn't make you do anything, you jerk. You almost killed Bakora, and now I'm going to tell everybody... Hey, that... everyone. Joey has tickets to see Miley Cyrus in his pocket. What the heck are you talking Ooh, about? Yeah. Yeah. Works every back. time. Yeah, yeah. You know there's something you should know, so I'm gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. Enjoy the show. Working all day, now it's time to unwind. Kick back, relax, take a load. The f*** is with your hair, your hair, your hair, your hair. I like you, your hair, your boobs, your hair, your personality. And, uh, oh my god, the rare Pokemon. The shiny Mokuba. I got a master ball with your name on it.